Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adam, if you love luxury fashion, they are definitely going to love my channel. So make sure you like, subscribe, and check out my Instagram below for all of the latest updates. And today, let's get right into it. So in today's video, you know that every Friday I am going over a different designer pet collection. I will have the entire playlist linked right above of all of the designers I have recently done. However, in this video, it is all about Tiffany's. Now, Tiffany's it is so cute with that beautiful blue color. However, I do have to say that this will be the most disappointing pet section out of all of the designers that I have reviewed so far. So without any further ado, let's find out why. So the first item is this Tiffany's Dog Bowl, and this retails for $165. Now they do have two different types of dog bowls. They have this one for $165, and then they do have a larger size for $190. They are the same exact thing, and at first you might think that that's a lot of money for a dog bowl, but I was actually really surprised, because I did go to the store, I was able to see the cat one, so when we do get to the cat one, I will be showing a close-up, but the bowl, I actually really do like it. Now for the cat bowl, this one is really, really cute. Just like the dog one, they do have two different sizes and they are the same pricing 165 and 190 however this one i actually did get to see in person and i was very impressed first i think it's really cute that it does have a cute little fish inside the bowl it is just so adorable of course it says cat on it too the beautiful tiffany blue color I actually really love this. And the surprising thing is it's very lightweight too. I thought it would be really heavy, but it's not. It's very light and it's actually made out of bone china. So it's like really enforced, so it's not going to break. So the quality, I have to say, this is 100% worth the money. Another dog bowl that they do have is this one made out of sterling silver. And the small one is 4000 and the large one is 5000 Now, of course, the quality is probably absolutely amazing and really, really healthy for your dog to drink out of. However, $4,000 for a dog bowl, I could just never justify that. If I did have extra money, yeah, of course, you know, if you have the money, then get it. Get whatever you want and like it because that is all that matters. But to put this into perspective, this entire pet collection from Tiffany's, you can get every single thing from this collection for $1,000 and this one bowl costs four to $5,000. So it is five times the price of this entire pet collection from Tiffany's. So when you add that into perspective, that is just absolutely crazy. Of course, I'm sure it's great to drink out of real silver. It's probably super, super healthy for your animals and definitely keeps all the water cold. But I just think there is just so many better things that you can get for your dog for that price. However, I will say that this is engravable and the only way to really make this worth $5,000 is if you were to engrave not only your pet's initials, but pictures of your entire pet family, like all of your dogs, all of your cats, and have like cute little statues going around the bowl, like engraved, that would be so cute and that would be worth it because that would be like an absolute art piece. For their collars and their leashes, I'm not gonna get too much into it because as you see, they are all the exact same thing, just in different sizes. The smallest starts at 300, and then the largest for the collars and the leashes both go up to 400. Close up on the collar though, I was thoroughly so surprised because this is such good quality. Now I do have to say that I have compared a lot of collars in person, Hermes will be next, and out of all of the designers I have seen, this one is the lightest one and the thinnest one. So if you're trying to get a collar for a cat especially, Tiffany's, I actually really, really do recommend it. The leather is so soft, it would be so comfortable for your animal, and the biggest thing is it's lightweight. But it does have that plating on it too that you can engrave, I think, and it actually is really, really cute. It's great quality, like I said, and honestly, I really cannot recommend this enough. So if there was absolutely anything out of the Tiffany's pet collection, I would recommend the collar. Now for the leash, this is really cute. However, I do have to say that the only way that this would be worth it for me is if I specifically had the blue collar to match it because just getting a leash on its own, I would rather have one that comes with a pouch. Like so far, my favorite pet leash is the Dior pet leash. And that one is so cool because you get that diamond canvas pouch with it and I absolutely love that. However, this one, you don't get any pouches with it. It's just the leash, but the leather itself is really soft. It's just as soft as the collar. So when it comes to like the softness of the leather, I do approve it. If you're interested, they do make everything in a set as well. And this is exactly what I was talking about with that giant bowl for $4,000. For $1,000, you can get an entire set and it is just so much more beneficial for your animal. So you get the dog bowl, you get the leash, and you get the collar. So for $1,000 for this set, I'm not good at math. I don't have a calculator with me and I don't have all the prices right in front of me to go back and to add everything up and to see if it's really worth it or not. 
but I'm sure that you're probably gonna save like a hundred or two hundred dollars by getting the set rather than getting everything separately or maybe it does equal up to the same price I'm not entirely sure but that is definitely an option if it's out there for you. I think that is not for your pets, but I did come across it's this super, super cute bracelet. And to be honest, I really, really wanted this because I wanted to put my initials on it and keep the bracelet. And then for my mom, she would have the matching necklace. And all honesty, it's just so cute, but I did go there in person and they were like surprisingly so super small. So they did have a small diamond on it, but you could hardly even like see the diamond. But all of the Tiffany's hearts, they're just way too small for me. I did end up liking the blue one. It was a little bit bigger than the pink, but you can't engrave it. So that totally defeats my purpose. And I did see some bracelets too, but I've had enough of these type of closures for your bracelets that when I was like four to like 18, I would always get these like, you know, like cheap ones that all of like, you know, little girls would always have. And mine would always end up falling off at some point. I always lose them. So spending money on a Tiffany bracelet with that type of closure, I just personally could never do. Tiffany's, I think they're good for their diamond rings, but for their bracelets, maybe not so much. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. Tell me if there's any specific design or pet collections you want me to check out. We will be doing Hermes next, and I'm very, very excited because I actually did go to the store. They were very, very kind. I looked at some Birkins, I looked at some Kellys, even an ostrich and a crocodile, Kelly and Birkin. It was absolutely insane. But I was able to get away with just recording just a little bit of their pet collection or really everything that they had in stock for their pets. So that is really, really cool, and I am excited about that. But I'm not sure if I'm going to postpone this video because there is a dog event that's coming up. And I will be going to the dog event and I will actually be bringing my cat possibly if I can't get my best friend's dog to come. So Hermes might not be next Friday actually, come to think of it, because I might want to include that footage. So I might have to wait for that. But again, any pet collections you want me to check out, definitely comment down below. I'm very excited to do it and have a great day. Au revoir.